I'm Yulia. I'm Brett. And this is Adeline. Let's check her out. Adeline is a Mercedes Sprinter, uh, 2014, 170 wheelbase, graphite gray. Love the graphite gray color. There are many reasons why we wanted to convert a van, but our top three reasons are, number one, I can't live without nature. And Brett says, I turn into a monster if I don't go to an outside, you know, do a hike or something in Forest a month. or woods, not even a month, probably like a week. <laughs> So having a van is the best way to get away and go see nature. Mine always wanted to build a tiny home. I went with this idea to Yulia and she thought I was crazy. And she's like, you're not doing this. That's not this. what I said. You know, no. And then I came across van life on Instagram and I was like, oh my gosh, this is insane. Like this is perfect. So then. Yeah, so this you. is a tiny home with yeah. no foundation, Without which a is foundation. a little bit easier, right? Yeah. To build. She okayed it, as you can see. <laughs> Reason number three is we wanted to create a safe space, good space where you can allow your body to relax and um, re-energize. This can be almost like a spa. It's like a little retreat, and if you a little you, getaway, <laughs> a little getaway, and if you build your van in a mindful way, um, consistent with natural living practices, and we'll show you what we've done, then you have your little spa on your on your hands. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoy the tour. As you come in into our van, the first thing that you see is kitchen. And we cook a lot, so it was important for us to have a lot of space and the big real size sink. The countertops here are African mahogany. Uh, this is a hardwood and we got two pieces of wood that we glued together. We were debating for a while to get butcher block, but we decided to go with a natural hardwood, um, which we just put coconut oil on and it's food safe, food grade, um, and it's amazing and it looks really expensive and it cost us half the price. The sink is one of my favorite things in the van. It's big, deep, and it's just a pleasure for doing dishes and rinsing veggies um, and prepping food. So the plumbing for the kitchen uh, was pretty easy actually. We kind of kept it in just a straight line shot. That's why we like to separate them. Um, so we have a little water pump switch here. So when you want to use the water for the sink, you just flip it on, flip it off. And then that's when you can start using this guy here. When you start using the sink, we do have a six gallon tank just underneath. So the water going to the sink is right back here. We have a 20 gallon tank. Uh, we keep it in the bench just because it is pretty big and we wanted to go off grid for a while. So I'll show you what that looks like here. It's got a little handle, flip it up. And we got our tank here. Um, trying to figure out a, a little bit better way to fill it. Right now it's a little challenging, so we just kind of carry a hose in here and just drop it in there. Eventually I would like to have a pipe go out the back so you can just kind of tighten up your hose and start filling up the tank. One of the things in our kitchen that always gets the biggest compliment is the fridge. Um, it is the cutest fridge ever. <laughs> we love the color. We love how it has a separate freezer and refrigerator. It is an AC fridge. Um, so it is a little bit less efficient than DC fridges that you normally see in vans or RVs, but we absolutely love it. Moving on to the rest of our kitchen. This is where we keep silverware and some vitamins. Down here, we have a drawer with veggies and um, whatever we bought at the farmer's market. So for example, we're gonna make butternut squash chili, our favorite, and so we have butternut squash. Usually there are apples, but I've eaten all of them. And um, let me tell you, the reason why we don't have a fruit basket or the sitting on the counter is because I'll literally eat everything in one hour. So it has to be like um, put away, not visible. <laughs> um, and then we have ginger, always have ginger on the road. 
Um, if you're not feeling well or get like a sore throat or no energy, it's the best ginger tea or add it to juice or something like that. And of course, oatmeal, we always have that. And then down here, we have our spices. Um, so we're still trying to figure out the best way. We use a lot of spices. So none of those little magnet things that you attach to the fridge or the bottom of the counters don't work for us because we use so much when we cook. So we have to have like these larger mason jars. I'm trying to figure out the best storage solution for them. And of course, avocado oil, olive oils, all of our pots and pans. We use stainless steel pots and um, bowls for cooking, stirring, salad. In our build, we decided to go with the bathroom just because we chose the 170 wheelbase and we had plenty of room. Uh, and we're really glad that we did. It is amazing. So nice to just walk out of bed and if you have to go to the bathroom, you don't have to run outside and try to find a tree or something. Uh, so we have a bathroom and a good full-size shower with hot water. To make everything waterproof in a shower in a van is very important because you do not want any water leaking underneath. Um, so for our structure, we did steel studs uh, combined with redwood just to make it a nice strong. We do have a layer of plywood uh, with a waterproof membrane paint and we also in every single little seam we put a bunch of caulking. One of the difficult tasks uh, including a bathroom in a van build especially one with all of these windows was waterproofing around the window and also giving yourself a nice privacy. Uh, so we went with a nice vinyl window frame so if you splash on it obviously it's totally fine and around the actual rubber ceiling of the window is completely sealed as well. So when you go to the bathroom, take a shower, just pull it down. Uh, we did a vinyl one, so we didn't use the nice Reflectix material that Heliac has created in the living room area, uh, just so it's waterproof. So when you're taking a shower, just splashes on here, dries off, you're fine. For our toilet, we decided to go with a urine diverting toilet. Uh, it goes into a five gallon black water tank just underneath the shower here. And it is pretty nice, it's very convenient. Uh, it's keep, we just obviously keep it clean. We can turn it into a composing toilet if you want it to. So you can put a bucket back there, obviously a bag, and if you need to do any sort of gels or anything, you could just put it in there. No number twos in the van, just keep it clean. Uh, we go to a lot of campsites, state parks, national parks. Uh, there's plenty of bathrooms everywhere, so I don't think it's necessary to have a uh, number two toilet, and it's just a lot to deal with. In our living room, we have a U-shaped couch, as you can see, and we love having this because if there's a beautiful view, like right now, we could just sit on the end and look out and have um, breakfast or dinner on the table here. This table is mounted, is a lagoon mounted table, and it does drop down um, to here and all of this area, this entire area where I'm standing turns into a big king size bed. There's so much room that I think the first time when Brett and I traveled, we said we could literally fit three or four people in here because <laughs> we're kind of small. I made the cushions myself from natural latex wrapped in wool batting. Um, there's muslin, cotton on the inside and on the outside it's cotton canvas so they're all hundred percent natural materials there's no flame retardants there's no synthetic fabrics no glues um, none of those harmful potentially harmful materials that usually mattresses or foam uh, boards or foam mattresses have and it was important for us because we both believe that while you sleep your body is recovering and it's important to support your body in that. The electrical in the van uh, for our setup, we have two panels up on the roof here, uh, 200 watts of solar charge, and it goes right down into our charge controller here. Uh, we kind of keep it up there, just a nice little area to look and just check on the batteries so we don't have to kind of get into any sort of compartments or have a battery reading and it's pretty accurate, so we do like having it there. We're gonna have a little cabinet that will just kinda, you can open up the door and look at it so it's not exposed all the time. And just under this compartment here, we keep our inverter. 
our circuit breaker and our fuse block for our 12 volt system. And then just right under here we have two 220 amp hour AGM batteries. To access the electrical compartment is something that we really don't have to do. So it's kind of nice having it down here because you just put it in there and you forget about it. But if you ever need to access it, it's pretty simple. I mean, you just kind of have to move some stuff around. Go in here, flip this guy, and we got a little handle, and you're in. So we have a 3000 watt inverter here. So we needed to have something very powerful enough to at least power up the water heater. And we like cooking a lot, so we have our Instapot, so we needed something strong for that as well. We have our fuse uh, panel just on this side. We have our circuit breaker right here. So this is gonna be going to our 120 volt system. And then our 12 volt system is just back there. As far as storage in our van, as you know, um, space underneath our benches is really for water, electrical, water heater, etc. So um, we don't have much room to store things there, but we do have a lot of room up in our upper cabinets and also the dresser. In the dresser, we have our gear, um, like photography and camera. We also have uh, space for our clothes, and which is really nice because the drawers actually, the bottom of drawers are lined with cedar and it smells so nice when you open it up and clothes smells really nice and natural. In our upper cabinets, we have different things and we're still trying to figure out the best way to organize it. Um, we're probably going to have handles similar to these loops down here, but right now we just have books and some gear. Um, we're keeping our Instapod, this is how we do our cooking. Um, these are amazing storage containers uh, from Felt, from um, Ikea. We absolutely love it. Our bedding, uh, some more bedding and, and uh, little uh, blankets, our stove and some containers. And um, this is where we keep our wooden plates and bowl. We hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Thank you for watching. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun recording it. Uh, let us know if you have any questions or comments. Uh, we will read through all the comments in the YouTube uh, video. But if you want to learn more about any of the things that we talked about, we will be happy to do it in the next episode. So just let us know what you want to hear about next. Yeah, subscribe. <laughs> and definitely subscribe to our channel. We are hoping to have videos every week, so we'll share some of our adventures and also some of the van conversion tips. Yeah. So please check it out. Oh, and in the next episode, we're going to talk about natural living tips. Pretty exciting. Yay!